Cockleshell Bay is a town near the sea with seagulls and sunshine and sound. There are shops that sell ices and bright coloured kites that will fly from a string in your hand. There are white painted houses along the seafront and one's called the Bucket and Spade. It's where people stay and two children play with all the good friends that they've made. So meet Robin and Rosie of Cockleshell Bay. My word, said Grand Rowdy to Robin and Rosie. You two look as if you've lost a shilling and found a sixpence. <laughs> What's a shilling? Asked Robin. What's a sixpence? Asked Rosie. <laughs> You're not too gloomy to ask questions. <laughs> well, a shilling was what they used to call a 5p and a sixpence was the same as two and a half p. Why? What? Why? Grand spluttered. Why? Bless me, I don't know why. <laughs> you and your questions. But Gran, but me no buts, laughed Gran. My turn to ask a question. Why aren't you playing out? Because it's raining, said Rosie. Yes, said Robin very glumly. No taint, said Gran. Stopped five minutes since, which is just as well. Why? why? Asked Robin and Rosie, both together. Aha! said Gran. Now that I can answer, cause we're all going for a walk on the beach. The, the beach, beach! Shouted Robin and Rosie both together again. Great! Come, Come on, on, hurry! And half an hour later, Robin and Rosie, and Gran, and Mrs. Cockle, and Mr. Cockle, were all down on the sands of Cockleshell Bay. Oh, crumbs, said Robin. There's no sea. Gosh, yes, said Rosie. It's gone. Mummy, Daddy, Gran, the sea's gone. It really has gone, said Robin. Maybe someone's pulled the plug out. <laughs> oh, Robin. Oh, 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 never oh, oh, no, no. Not like a bath. <laughs> Pull the plug out. Oh, 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 that's a good one. No, Robin, the sea hasn't really gone. It's just the tide. The sea goes out and comes in again twice every day. Gosh, said Rosie. Where does it go to? Well, it's just like a very, very, very big wave, explained Mrs. Cockle. And when the sea's gone down in this country, it's come up in a country far away. But, said Robin, starting to ask another question, but what makes... Ahoy there! It was Mr. Ship. Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Ship. Mr. Ship. Aha! Morning, all. Morning, Zeke. And what brings you out here? Asked Gran. Oh, I'm just doing a bit of beachcombing, said the old sailor. Beachcombing? Said Robin in surprise. Gosh, said Rosie. Is that why it looks so smooth? Hmm? Because you've combed it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, Rosie. <laughs> oh, 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 dear me. Laughed Gran. <laughs> You'll be the death of me. <laughs> hey? Well, <laughs> beach combing just means collecting bits and pieces that have been washed in by the sea. Oh, I see. And it's the sea that makes the beach so smooth. <laughs> Washed and ironed twice a day it is. 
washed and ironed twice a day. And have you found anything, Mr. Ship? Oh, yes, I have. A, a nice little load of firewood for my stove and a mop. <laughs> How about that, then? I reckon some sailor must have dropped it overboard. Gosh, said Rosie. Can we go beachcombing, Mummy? Yes, you can, said Mrs. Cockle. Uh, as long as you don't go far away. Oh, I'll come with you. I likes a bit of beachcombing myself. And I'll tag along too, said Mr. Ship. We might find a bag of gold, eh? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> See you later then. Bye, kids. Take care. There, see that? That's where the sea came up to when the tide was in. Gosh, what's this? said Robin. Ooh, well now, tis a mermaid's purse, said Gran Rowdy. A mermaid's purse, said Rosie. And the poor mermaid's lost it. Oh, well, it's just call that, Rosie. I think it's some sort of a fish's egg, really, isn't it, Zeke? Asked Gran Rowdy. Ah, that's right. It's the case that once held a skate's egg. A skate? Oh, ah, but not a nice skate, nor a roller skate, neither. This kind of skate is a great big fish. Here, I've found something, too, called Rosie. Look. Oh, yes, said Robin. What do you think it is? Hmm. Rosie thought a moment and turned it around in her hand. And then she said, I think it's a mermaid's hat. Oh, a mermaid's hat? laughed Gran. Well, it looks a bit like a hat, but that mermaid would have a small head now, wouldn't she? Oh, no, no, laughed Mr. Ship. That's a shell, a cockle shell. A cockle, oh, <coughs> a cockle shell from Cockle Shell Bay. Oh, that's right. And now it's a rosy cockle, cockle shell from Cockle Shell Bay. <laughs> oh, 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 well, very nice. Oh, 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 get off with your Zeke shipping. Hey, look at this. A rope. Crumbs, yes. Uh, it's all tangled up in bits of wood and seaweed. Hang on, I'll pull too. Right, uh, pull, go on. Uh, yeah, I'm pulling. You come, two, three. Uh, oh, 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 dear. Wow, now that's a real nice bit of rope, is that? Said Mr. Ship. Come off a cargo boat, I shouldn't wonder. Oh, what a lovely feather, said Rosie, who found it just under her nose. All brown and white stripes. What's that come from? Ah, no, that I don't know, said Mr. Ship. And I bet you can't tell me what this is. Let's look, said Robin. Oh, well, that's easy. It's another cockle shell. No, it ain't, said Mr. Ship. Different shape. Different colour. I think, said Rosie, I think it's a a, a... a mermaid spoon. A spoon! My word, yes, it does look just like a dessert spoon. But it's not. It's another shell. A mussel shell. <laughs> so now you've got cockles and mussels, like in the song. <laughs> what song? Oh, well, said Mr. Ship, this song. And she wheeled her wheelbarrow through streets broad and narrow, crying cockles and mussels alive, alive, oh! oh, 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 oh yes, that's that's good. Very good. <laughs> My word, you sound happy, laughed Mr. Cockle. Have you found anything? Oh, yes, said Rosie. We found a mermaid's purse and a mussel shell and a feather and a rope. And, and a, a cockle, cockle shell from, from cockle, cockle Shell, shell Bay. Bay. Good heavens, you have done well. Yes, yes. And, and we're, we're starving. starving. Oh, well, we'd better come back and look for the bag of gold this afternoon. After we've had something to eat. Oh, great, great. said Robin and Rosie, both together. 
and they all went home for lunch. <laughs>